Davao City National High School, a top performing public secondary school in Davao region, a premier educational institution molded through the acid test of time, an institution built on a foundation of excellence. Davao City National High School is a vibrant community of learning that stands in the nation's service and in the service of its people. Chartered in 1922, Davao City National High School is a home to more than 12,000 diverse learners and 450 teaching and non-teaching personnel. It is undeniably one of the biggest schools in Davao region with its highly competitive standard gearing towards excellence in 21st century education. As the leading public secondary institution of the school's division of Davao City, Davao City National High School has been chosen as one of the model schools in the implementation of various DEPID programs and projects for the past years. Being a pilot school, it observes and implements the principles of school-based management, which aims to improve the school system's capacity to be on track in achieving quality education by improving the learning outcomes of the learners. With the leadership and guidance of Public Schools District Supervisor, Dr. Winifredo E. Cagape, and through the assistance of the school SBM coordinators, Dr. Evangeline L. Magilimutan and Jed I. Bete, the Davao City National High School SBM team was restructured and recalibrated in 2015. This is to ensure that the school remains updated and committed to the principles and thrusts of school-based management through shared governance, shared responsibility, and shared accountability. Members of the SBM team were divided into four groups representing the four principles of SBM. Principle 1, Leadership and Governance, is chaired by Taski O. Clarigo with Dr. Roberto R. Binag as his co-chair. Principle 2, Curriculum and Instruction, is chaired by Dr. Hedelisa B. Dicolongon. Principle 3, Accountability and Continuous Improvement, is chaired by Dr. Eduardo M. Calo. And lastly, Principle 4, Management of Resources, is chaired by Margarita L. Laborte. Republic Act 9155, or the Governance of Basic Education Act of 2001, accentuates the need for school heads to form school and community networks that encourage the participation of internal and external stakeholders. Hence, for the past years, series of meetings with stakeholders were conducted to intensify school-based management practices. Self-review and assessments were made to determine the school's SBM level of practice using the assessment process and tool and to address areas that need improvement. In line with this, the three-year school improvement plan was jointly created with the school stakeholders and its community. And to keep the school responsive and relevant to the emerging demands, challenges and opportunities, the SBM team and the school stakeholders regularly revisit the annual implementation plan. Through the School Governing Council or SGC, comprised of the student government, school alumni, school retirees association, state universities and colleges, nearby barangay units, the local government unit, and non-government organizations, an open communication between and among the school and community leaders is made available. Davao City National High School believes that a strong shared leadership and governance with internal and external stakeholders ensures that the school's shared vision, direction, dreams and aspirations are voluntarily and collaboratively realized. And salute to all alumni of this premier institution, the Davao City National High School. Due to these bolstered efforts in reinforcing the sense of partnership between the school and its stakeholders, Davao City National High School has seen an increase in its enrollment from roughly 8,800 enrollees in school year 2012-2013 to almost 12,000 enrollees in the current school year. Increase in its promotion rate from 89.16% in school year 2012-2013 to 92.58% in school year 2015-2016. Increase in its retention rate from 94.38% in school year 2012-2013 to 95.92% in school year 2015-2016. Decrease in dropout rate from 9.315% in school year 2012-2013 to 3.93% in school year 2015-2016. Davao City National High School has also seen a considerable growth 
and its partners as they implement their community extension services such as their outreach programs and services in Bahay Pasilungan, Bahay Pag-asa, and Davao Boys Town. The school is also active in literacy programs for the Bajau community in Santa Ana District and moral recovery programs in Barangay 10-A. Teachers also participate in the community extension services of its partner SUCs, such as the USEP SPMC project at the House of Hope for young cancer patients. The intensified implementation of curriculum and instruction is also evident in Davao City National High School. The school provides for the diverse needs of all types of learners in the school community. Committed to the global thrust of achieving absolute inclusion in education, Davao City National High School guarantees full implementation of the special programs of interest and alternative modalities of education delivery, namely, Science, Technology and Engineering Program, Special Program in the Arts, Special Program in Journalism, Special Program in Foreign Language, both Japanese and Spanish, Special Program in Sports, Special Education Program, Senior High School Late Afternoon Program, and the Modified Work Study Program, among others. The Senior High School Late Afternoon Program and the Modified Work Study Program are school programs strongly supported by the local government unit of Davos City. Davos City National High School values collective ownership in the implementation of curriculum and in the delivery of instruction by involving all stakeholders in the development of competency-based learning materials, localized indigenized and contextualized learning resources, and standards-based assessment and in the conduct of remediation, enrichment, and research. This way, learning is made relevant to the lives of the learners. The school has also been the show window of DEP at Davo City. Educational institutions outside the city continues to visit City High to benchmark its best practices. The Asian Development Bank and representatives from the World Bank Human Development Sector Unit, East Asia Pacific Region, headed by Mr. Franco Russo, Senior Operations Officer, visited the school for a focus group discussion centered on the challenges facing basic education like school management, learning achievement, and community participation. For the past years, the school gained recognition in the international arena. Early this year, a team of student researchers from Davao City National High School won the second grand prize award in the plant science category of the 2017 Intel International Science and Engineering Fair, or Intel ISEF, held in Los Angeles, California, USA. In 2009, the school also bagged the American Statistical Society Special Award during the 2009 Intel ISEF, held in Arizona, USA. The school also bested other entries in the Philippines and represented the country during the 10th International Children Film Fest held in Dhaka, Bangladesh. These school winnings and achievements in inter-school competitions from local to international level are concrete evidences of the concentrated, strong, and globally aligned curriculum implementation. City High does not only serve as a training ground for its learners, equipping them with the tools necessary to become active, contributing members of the society. Even the teachers have their respective accomplishments that affect student learning outcomes, and these are highlighted in the publication of each department. The school's research journal, Sumbanan, highlights the various action researches done by the faculty members of the school, with the aim of addressing the learning gaps in each learning area and determining the most suited pedagogical approach for each learning gap. As part of accountability and continuous improvement, Davao City National High School is practicing a community accepted performance accountability, recognition, and incentives. Significant accomplishments of students and teachers are made known to the community through their pollings and social media. The I Care, I Advocate, I Respect for Environment project is one of the institutional programs of the school that supports Republic Act 9003, otherwise known as the Ecological Solid Waste Management Act. A clear structure of community-recognized feedback mechanism was established that helps facilitate mutual decision-making processes relevant to curriculum implementation, governance, operation, and school improvement. 
implemented school activities and programs are evaluated to determine if the success indicators are satisfactorily met or if these activities and programs have been sustained through the years. Teachers have also been chosen in various international study grants to support the implementation of its special programs of interest. Six of the teachers have been grantees of the Monbu Kagakusho Scholarship Grant of the Japanese government. Two faculty members have also been selected in USA-based study grants. The school administrator, public schools district supervisor, Dr. Winifredo E. Kagape, was also selected as one of the 10 grantees of the Japan Foundation Global School Study Tour for school leaders in Tokyo, Japan. When it comes to resource management, the school's resources are collectively and judiciously mobilized and managed with transparency, effectiveness, and efficiency. Local government unit, non-government organizations, parents and alumni are actively involved in resource generation, allocation, and mobilization. Because of the strong and steadfast support of the community and all stakeholders, the school has reached a total of 32 million pesos for all resources generated in the 2017 Brigada Escuela. Hence, one can say that school management transcends boundaries of organizations or agencies. These best practices in leadership and governance, curriculum and instruction, accountability and continuous improvement in resource management enable Davos City National High School to achieve the highest SBM level of practice, the Level 3 or Advanced Level. The school's advanced implementation of SBM has significantly improved its performance. Davos City National High School is not only the home of intelligent and talented learners, it is also the haven of competent, dedicated, dynamic and hardworking teaching and non-teaching personnel. Achieving the highest SBM level of practice has been made possible because of involvement, unity and cooperation between and among the internal and external stakeholders. The race for excellence has no finish line. Davos City National High School continues to thrive further in sustaining the mark of supremacy, placing them in the pedestal of distinction. A home to dreamers and game changers. The cradle of future leaders and 21st century innovators. Davos City National High School. Building the future and a foundation of